All right, everyone, I wanted to do a quick video also touching upon the difference between SFOT and a tunnel graft. People have been asking me, oh, did you get SFOT done? No, actually what I had done was a tunnel graft. And I may or may not be having SFOT in two or three months from now, but I just want to spell out the difference for you between SFOT and a tunnel graft. SFOT stands for Surgically Facilitated Orthodontic Therapy. It's a specific type of bone grafting. Tunnel grafting is also a specific type of bone grafting. So they are both types of bone grafting, but they are very different. SFOT is probably the one that most of y'all are going to be interested in because it's the most orthodontically relevant. Tunnel grafting is going to be something more that failed aga cases, like myself, are going to be interested in for repairing their upper front teeth that got messed up by the aga and the controlled arch. SFOT, Surgically Facilitated Orthodontic Therapy. This is a treatment that's done for people who are trying to jump into rapid and aggressive orthodontic expansion. What this treatment involves is you flap open the gums, which means you cut the gums at the margin where the gums meet the teeth, you flap them back. You then do cord corticotomies, which are cuts between each tooth into the bone. Now you don't cut all the way through that bone, but you basically disrupt the hell out of it. You, you, you cut into it to cause a kind of an immuno response from the body. Simultaneously, while the gums are flapped, you pack in a bunch of bone, fake bone, not fake, but not your bone, some kind of uh, laboratory concocted mixture of, of allopathic bone, which means bone from a human cadaver, or possibly bovine or pig, mixed in with growth factors, which are chemicals that cause the body to then deposit its own bone on top of the powdery bone that you've added. This mixture of doing corticotomies between the teeth and packing in bone sets the stage for rapid orthodontic expansion. Again, we're talking about SFOT right now. As soon as you close those gums back up from doing the cortical puncturing and doing the um, bone packing, you can now jump into a rapid Invisalign regimen, switching trays according to Dr. Robley every three days. Now, normal Invisalign is you swap trays every seven to 14 days. Following SFOT, you swap trays every three days because once your teeth have the cort corticotomies done, they can be moved very easily. What the corticotomy actually does, I'm not exactly sure, but I think it's a combination of two things. I think number one, it, it, it reduces resistance from the alveolar bone to orthodontic movement. By disrupting that bone, you make it easier for the teeth to move through that bone. You've weakened the cement, you could say, that the teeth are sitting in. Secondly, though, what it does is it stimulates an immuno response. When the body's bone gets cut up like that, the body then sends, uh, uh, it triggers a biochemical process that accelerates the remodeling process. Because when you're moving teeth orthodontically, what happens is the bone is remodeled. The teeth moves a little bit this way, that causes bone over here to resorb and it causes bone over here to fill in. That's called remodeling. So the SFOT, but remember, we didn't just do corticotomies with SFOT, we also packed in new bone. So you have all this additional bone material that's been packed in by the dentist that you can expand out into. This allows you to move the teeth out much farther than you normally would because now there's new bone there. You've created real estate that you can then move the teeth out into. It's like the way they build uh, those man-made islands in Dubai or, or Abu Dhabi or wherever it is. Don't quote me on exactly where but they just build the islands out into the, the water. It's kind of like that with SFO, SFOT. They're, they're building bone out, which you then expand out into. And then you can do crazy amounts of expansion very quickly as a result of this SFOT using Invisalign. Okay, you can program the Invisalign trays to expand. It's all part of your Invisalign clean check. You just design it so that each subsequent tray gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger on the upper and on the lower, transverse and sagittal, left, right, front, back. You can just blow open the upper and the lower arch with SFOT. That's SFOT. 
A tunnel graft is much different than that. I did a tunnel graft on my upper front teeth. All a tunnel graft is, is it's a type of corrective, uh, you could say restorative bone graft. Basically, it's a bone graft that's not designed to be, uh, to be coordinated with orthodontic movement like SFOT is. All a tunnel graft is, is you identify a location where the bone is compromised, the bone is resorbed, uh, it's, it's, it's weakened, it's deteriorated, like happened to me with aga, and you cut a little slit in the gum, okay, you don't flap anything back, you cut a little slit, and then you pack bone in through that slit, it's called tunneling, and then that bone, that, that allopathic bone from a cadaver mixed with the growth factors, that mixture, probably the same mixture they used with the SFOT, that mixture gets packed in through the tunnel, and it settles, and then your body deposits new bone on top of that, which is the whole idea behind a bone graft. The same thing happens with SFOT. And then ultimately what you have is an area that's solidified, hopefully. But with tunnel grafting, there's no cortical puncturing, there's no flapping, and there's no planned orthodontic movement that's to occur into that grafted area. It's simply to rebuild an area that has deteriorated. So I did a tunnel graft on my upper front teeth to correct damage that was done by aga. Later, I might do SFOT, i.e. corticotomies, in addition to bone packing on my lower left quadrant and on my upper right quadrant so that I can finish expanding to correct and finalize my occlusion. So that's a, uh, a brief discussion on the difference between SFOT and tunnel grafting. I hope it made sense. And... Let me know what else y'all want me to talk about. All right. Be easy. Peace.